Watch you guys, got another ransomware removal video here for you. Now this one's a particularly nasty one because it encrypts your files and there's a few of these doing the rounds at the moment on the internet. This one's called Department of Justice and this will infect people in the United States. And there's also one called MBL and loads of other types of ones that are similar to this that will encrypt all your files. So removing it is not so much the problem because it's pretty easy to remove. It's the actual decryption of the files if you don't know where to look or where to get the program to decrypt your files. So we're going to cover that in this video and try and help you out, okay? Never pay for these types of infections. They are scams and they uh, are there to con you out your money. So let's have a look at the actual ransomware itself. As I said, this one is called Department of Justice and what they're trying to do is put fear on you to make you pay for it. As you can see here, they're threatening you with five years federal prison and 250,000 pound fine. They're saying you've been looking at pornographic material and also uh, child porn sites and stuff like that. And they're also threatening you with up to 15 years to 30 years maximum prison. And they want $100. That's what they want to get you off of this uh, scam. This is what it is. And I don't know who falls for these types of things, but there must be people that fall for it, otherwise they wouldn't make them. What they want you to do is then go to the money pack store and purchase one of these uh, from one of these places okay 7-eleven and you can see them all here Walmart and you can purchase those money packs from there and they want you to pay it okay now would the FBI do this no of course they wouldn't it's a scam now the poor bit of code in here as you can see if I click on this here you can see where you want where they want you to add the code in and uh, as you can see it's down here we're not going to be adding no codes in okay I'll show how to decrypt it anyway. So let's reboot the system into safe mobile networking and uh, we'll remove it from there. Now if you don't know how to get into safe mobile networking the instructions will be on the screen right now. Okay so we're in advanced boot options here and what we need to do is go down to safe mobile networking. Now if you can't uh, get into safe mobile networking and your ransomware is still running then you can try safe mode or safe mode with command prompt or you can even try uh, directory services restore mode if none of these work then you are going to need to use Kaspersky Rescue CD and Windows Unlocker and you can see some of my other videos on how to use that but we're going to be using safe mobile networking as this lets us do this Okay, so I'll just let this load in. Don't need that. And close that off. Okay, so here we are at safe mode. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use some programs. We're going to use Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes to remove this. But I'll show you where it actually resides, okay? And there is an actual free tool you can use uh, to decrypt these files. Uh, it's called Harrison, uh, this uh, ransomware, and there's another one called uh, MBL, which is very similar to this one, and that has a decryption tool as well, okay, but it's part of the Harrison family, and uh, you can use this to decrypt all your files. So let's have a look at where it resides anyway, so I'll quickly show you here, we're going to computer, we're going to go into users, and then the account that's infected, and then app data. And inside local here, you'll see a folder called XPS Viewer. Inside there is where the culprit resides. Okay, this is it here. Now we could just delete this from there, and that's what we're going to do. Like so. Okay, we're going to have a look inside the temp folder here. And you can see uh, there is a load of stuff inside here. We could delete all this, but I like to leave all this stuff until the uh, decryption process is all finished just in case it needs these files okay to decrypt the uh, stuff and uh, with some of the older um, infections they used to have stuff hidden inside the temp folder so I just don't want to delete that just yet so let's go back and have a look inside here okay that's good and we'll have a look inside here and there is something here I can see I'm going to delete this Okay, now we've done, done that, what we're going to do here is going to run Hitman Pro. Now you can get this on the internet, and as I said, the links will be all in the description for you. So I'm just going to quickly run this. Okay, 
okay that's come up nice and clean and that's because we've manually removed it okay but um, what we'll do here is we'll close this off and we'll just run malware bytes just to make sure everything is okay and I just want to make sure that nothing is still on the system remember we can update from here because we're in um, safe mobile networking so we've got internet access I'm going to click OK here and then we're just going to run a quick scan just to make sure okay so that's the scan now finished and as you can see that's come up nice and clean which is a good sign okay let's have a look at our decryption now so we're going to decrypt the files and the way you can do that is use this program here which will decrypt all your files for you all you need to do is just select the drive which you want okay and then add your folders in for the places that have been encrypted now this could be your photos my documents whatever it may be you just add these in okay like so so we'll just do my documents for now just to show you and uh, also you have options here now the options are to delete any of the encrypted files after you've decrypted them okay now that's up, entirely up to you and also you can use a custom decryption key instead um, here if you wish okay and once you've done that all you need to do is just click on decrypt and it will decrypt all your files for you pretty straightforward stuff and let that just finished and then I'll show you what the decryption page is okay that's now finished and you should have all your files now decrypted so let me just quickly show you um, what it actually does so if we look here this is the actual decryption page you'll see it, it decrypts all your files like this and this will be the page okay that you get for every file type and you need to go through and decrypt all these okay and there you can see the decryption password for decrypt now we'll put this up on the screen right now and this should help you uh, get past this and decrypt it if you want to do it manually if you're having issues but personally I wouldn't waste my time with that I would actually go into the program and use that because it's a lot more easier okay so let's reboot the system now and uh, we'll see how that goes So we'll just let this load in and there we are back at the desktop everything's fine and everything should be cleaned and decrypted and that's basically how you get rid of the Harrison uh, ransomware and MBL and all those other types of ransomwares that have been encrypted you just use this method and you should be pretty much good to go so I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you out my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos hit that subscribe button guys and also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. Now if you've got any questions then leave a comment down below or send me a private message in YouTube and I'll do my best to answer those questions for you. Now if I don't answer your question don't think I'm being rude it's just that I get a lot and I find it hard to answer everyone's questions but I do try to answer as many as possible. Okay so thanks again for watching guys. Bye for now.